Page rank can be seen as a function that assigns a real number to each page. The intent is that the higher the page rank of a page, the more important it is. There's no fixed algorithm for assigning page rank. Here, I will introduce the basic idea about page rank. You first need to think of the web as a directed graph where pages are nodes and the directed arcs between nodes represent the links between them. If there is at least one link from page A to B, there is an arc from node A to B in the graph. Suppose that there is a random surfer on the web. The random surfer moves at each step from his current page to a randomly chosen page that it links to. Here, you can use a matrix to represent the transition probability in the web graph. The transition matrix of the web graph describes what happens to a random surfer after a single step. For a graph with n pages, the matrix have dimension n times n. In the matrix m, i my j equals 1 over k if there is a link from page j to i and the total number of outgoing links from j is k. If there is no link from j to i, then i my j equals 0. The probability distribution for the location of a random surfer can be described by a column vector of length n, where the j's component is the probability that the surfer is at page j. The probability is the idealized page rank function. Suppose that we start a random surfer at any of the n pages. The initial vector v0 has 1 over n on each of the components. If the current distribution is v, and the web transition matrix is m, then x equals m times v will be the distribution of the next step. After the first step, the distribution will become m times v0. After two steps, the distribution will become m times m times v0 and so on. This behavior is an example of Markov process. Next, you will be given a brief introduction about Markov process and limiting distribution.